Libraries are often seen as safe havens in our communities. In Norfolk, employees are taking that a step further by making sure they know the signs of human trafficking. I spoke with a coordinator who says it is all about helping people. It's a quiet place that also doubles as a safe place. The library serves the community. That's what libraries are all about. And now, thanks to Patricia Kendall's, the Norfolk Public Libraries are even safer. Sometimes there's people that come into these branches and they need more than just a book. They need information and they need resources. And I felt like that this would be a good thing for us is to start, you know, um, advocating. Her goal is to help stop human trafficking. So she contacted the Samaritan House, which pointed her in the direction of the Safe House Project. We really help fill the gaps and make sure that as survivors move through the what we call a continuum of care, which is like that emergency housing model into that long-term safe house program and then into transition, that they don't fall through the gaps. Brittany Dunn is the COO of Safe House Project, which was founded in Norfolk in 2017. She says they're working to eradicate child trafficking by 2030, and they need the community's help. To educate themselves on the issue so that we can understand how each of us can spot and report, but more importantly, prevent trafficking where we live, work, and play. So they've created a free training called On Watch, which aims to do just that. What were those indicators that a community member could have seen and said something so that we can increase reporting? Using the space of a library to make our communities safer. 90% of Norfolk Public Library employees completed the On Watch training. Kendall says moving forward, it'll be part of the onboarding process for new hires.